so thank you for speaking to Arabian Reseller. Uh, we would like to start um, uh, with a brief about how AI is transforming companies uh, over the past couple of years. Thank you, Chris. Uh, AI, what started out as a very hype technology, uh, it's a rubber meeting the road moment for AI right now, especially post pandemic. Uh, initially, we saw it in a lot of B2C uh, technologies where uh, the primary revenue model was through data, right? So you don't pay for your search engines, you don't pay for your social media, but instead you give back a lot of personal data and that has been a very successful business model. But now AI is making its entry into the enterprise, into the more serious B2B games. Generally, that's how technology evolved, right? Like mobile apps were in in the consumer space and today we use a lot of enterprise mobile apps too the same thing is happening to AI where uh, we see a lot of serious applications like for example in managed engine we use AI for our service delivery we use AI in monitoring we use AI for our security in fact uh, our first line of defense in security products is now AI uh, and slowly we are moving to the edge we are moving to the on-premise editions AI is not just restricted to you know high-profile cloud GPU computing and consumer software so it's making inroads into our every everyday business practices. Okay, uh, it's interesting that you touched upon security as one of the major aspects of you know businesses, mm -hmm. the technologies that businesses use today. And uh, you know you've seen we've seen a lot of political turmoil over the past couple of uh, weeks. Uh, there are a lot of security attacks happening uh, you know yeah. across the board yeah. as well. Uh, yeah. How do you think AI can help in securing you know mm -hmm. uh, companies mm -hmm. uh, or as the first line of defense? Perfect. So, uh, if you see the first major change with the pandemic is that we are no longer restricted by networks, no longer restricted by devices like traditionally office data is accessed only from office on the office computer. But today, almost every business is, has gone remote. Employees have gone remote. Customers are working from everywhere and digital has been their first touch point. Right. So, whatever brand, whatever thing you could sell, the, probably the first place they would look at you is on the internet. So, it has become uh, very important to make sure uh, this uh, whole notion of security is being taken seriously and uh, we deploy our latest and best foot forward to make sure we take security seriously and generally security has been taking uh, has been working on thresholds right we said manual rules we said thresholds and sometimes these thresholds are ineffective because uh, depending on the kind of your business your weekdays could be busy your weekends could be busy uh, so for example a monday morning 9 a.m is not the same as a saturday morning 3 a.m right so the same threshold is not going to work so and of course with with respect to all of these uh, political challenges and the lot of phishing ransomware uh, you know uh, users can be conned easily and all of your sensitive data could be accessed in a minute and it can also cause a serious reputational loss it's not just about the monetary loss but uh, it can bring in an irreputable damage to your reputation so uh, at manage engine uh, for example we have deployed our new anti ransomware technology using ai at the edge uh, in our endpoint detection uh, suite we are also using our user entity and behavior analysis engine uh, in our log management suite so basically there is a balance between proactive security and reactive security and then we are beefing up both sides so that uh, uh, you know the your your attack surface is minimized and you have your best foot forward using ai okay uh, when it comes to it policies that companies usually use have you seen a major change over the past couple of years because how the market dy dynamics has changed and do you see companies now adopting ai also as part of the uh, portfolio yeah in fact we have seen our ai usage go up what was a toy technology just a checklist when you purchase uh, especially after 2018 we are seeing a lot of people using coming back and using our ai technologies one reason at manage engine we see is that uh, consumer ai is very different for example a social media friend request you are not going to answer uh, i mean you're not answerable to anybody if you're going to accept or decline that request that friend request but let's say i'm doing an outage pred prediction using my monitoring tool and then i have to answer my boss on why i added more servers or i have I have to give an explanation, a root cause analysis to my teams to say why I did this. So, so adding an explanation to our AI decisions really helped. Uh, and of course, like I said, companies with their own, uh, you know, bring your own device policy, uh, access it from anywhere policy, the whole notion of zero trust has come in where whomsoever it is, you don't trust them, uh, just give them the access they need and in case they need it let them come and get it so that notion of security and and everybody has gone digital my my kindergarten uh, kid is you know using digital uh, tools to attend their school so the seriousness has come in so organizations are fast adapting to this but it's surprisingly very interesting that overnight in 2020 it was like 
90 percent work from home and 10 percent i mean 90 percent work from office and 10 percent work from home and then that night the thing reversed so uh, i think it is stepping up it is uh, coming what was considered back office is now considered to be the first line of your business because like i said uh, all customers reach your businesses via so that way both your employee has to be educated on the perils of uh, you know wrong security policies and uh, 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 what a phishing link could do to the organization not just the employee and so on user education is more important again tools like ai can really augment all our admins with uh, more uh, informed decisions and powerful uh, reactions to the incidents that can happen as managing engine what kind of uh, you know uh, key focus areas are there for you mm -hmm. when it comes to AI what kind of markets have you identified where the growth is more um, mm -hmm. you know uh, right now where the demand is more right now mm -hmm. and how do you see the overall market evolving around these uh, technologies perfect again uh, we don't go by industry verticals in manage engine because we believe digitalization touches every industry equally let's say textile industry is no different than a hospital everybody uses computers so everybody needs IT security everybody needs IT absolutely and we see this trend where uh, you know we are trying to take this ai in a direction where like i said ai is no longer a consumer tool uh, you don't need terabytes of data to build your ai model we are working on minimizing our ai models to make sure we work with let's say there's a log management solution and the best you get is four to eight weeks of data right it it, it is not terabytes of data it's not gigabytes of data it's just a few hundred data points so we have tweaked our models to work in a very low data setting and also tweaked our models to do inference at the edge so it's like you know low power tech it's it's low data tech for us where uh, we try and ensure our models work with limited compute and limited data setups so that is one major uh, uh, you know one major trend i see in manage engine where we are uh, toning down the you know huge models are a thing of the past we are trying to tone down all ai models and then so that they they fit in where they have to fit in that i see is our usb for example now we have deployed our anti ransomware at the edge and i see a list of endless possibilities if we can get AI to the edge. Uh, thank you for speaking to Arvind Rieselet. Nice chatting with you and we look forward uh, to speaking to you again in the future as thank well. Thank you Chris. I appreciate you. the opportunity. Thank you.